I want to be I want to be that guitar player that only has to play four notes on a lot of distortion with a lot of sustain like the entire night. Like every song it's like wow wow wow. That's like all that's his whole job. <laughs> What's up guys? This is Matt from ramseyvoice.com and I'm a real singing teacher and vocal coach. And today I'm going to be listening and reacting to JJ Lynn perform the song How Did You Lose the World? And uh, I have to be honest, so this was actually a request from uh, one of the people that had subscribed to my YouTube channel, and I only listened to a couple of seconds of the song, and I noticed something interesting. It's in Chinese. <laughs> and if you can tell, uh, I am not Chinese. I don't speak Mandarin or Cantonese uh, or any of the other Chinese dialects. So I was a little bit anxious about doing a reaction video to a song in a completely different language for a couple of reasons, but probably the biggest one is just that so much of the work that I do is based in vowels and vowel sounds and specifically the way that vowels and pitches kind of work together in some interesting ways. So with that said, um, I know that JJ Lin is an insanely popular artist in China. And so I mean the utmost respect uh, as I'm about to butcher your beautiful language. So sorry about that. Now, if you guys find this video helpful, make sure to hit like, comment with the next song that you wanna see me react to, and subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel. And make sure that you watch until the end of the video to see whether this is a five-star performance or not. Okay, let's just jump in. Now, um, I do have some lyrics uh, right here. Now, I just have the the Chinese characters with the English translation. So if I'm a little bit behind the line or in front of the line, I apologize, but you know, yeah, we'll just do the best that we can. Okay, let's see what happens. These guys are cold play. Well, first of all, I mean, I always stop a couple lines in just because I think that it's really important uh, for you guys to hear like the, the very first reactions that I get to a singer. And as a vocal coach, you know, I hear a lot of different singers and I'm kind of put in this position where I have to make some really, really quick judgments on what a singer is doing, what they're doing well, what their voice is built for. And so far, JJ has just a beautiful, beautiful tenor voice. Now I'm sure he can probably sing a lot lower than this. I'm sure he can sing a lot higher than this, but just based off of kind of the vocal weight or that uh, kind of like, almost think of like the build of the instrument, like a cello versus a violin. A cello and a violin could conceivably hit some of the same notes. Like if you're playing the violin low enough and if you're playing the cello high enough, but they would sound very different in the way that they hit that note. So when I'm talking about the voice type of this tenor singer, I'm really talking about the weight that I hear in his voice. It's just very, very easy, very, very light. Now I know he can sing a lot stronger than this probably, but we'll just see what happens. <laughs> So that's the first couple of notes in his bridge. Oh, beautiful start. It's very, very light, very breathy, but very easy. You can tell that he's been doing this a long time. I feel like that's, yeah, that's our first F sharp. Beautiful. So I get the feeling that we're about to take a really, really dramatic turn here. Uh, so I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm 
going to play that once more. Now, okay, I'm so sorry to stop there, but that is amazing. So that's up to an it. Uh, what is that? A B? Yeah. So Shonani. So. I don't know exactly what those words are, but I can tell you that um, mostly he's doing an E vowel up there. And rather than going to and kind of squeezing that E vowel very, very tight, instead he's allowing his jaw to relax and kind of giving that E like an E. And that's absolutely helping him make that bridge and super, super strong up there. Let's see. I love this woman. Ah, that's the way I feel inside right now, too. Yeah, that's a really good example right there. So um, you can actually see in his jaw formation right there, that's not an E, like he's keeping his jaw very narrow. E is what we call a close vowel. And that just means that the jaw itself is not gonna be very open. Not like an ah, but if you see right there, he's actually got his jaw quite open. So he's getting that E vowel, but it's actually more like he's dropping his jaw to an I. Beautiful work. Oh, then, and this is really cool too. So notice how he's actually keeping a very, very similar uh, vowel formation for the rest of that line. So he starts off with that. But overall, his jaw is not moving like. Because he knows that that's going to make him flip or worse, just strain and break into his, into his falsetto up there. And so instead what he's doing is he's actually keeping those vowels pretty consistent. And that's so, so important when you're up in a, a tenor second bridge around this B4. Obviously I don't know the words, but like you can kind of see how I'm keeping my jaw in a stable place rather than just kind of opening and shutting it according to each one of those true vowels. Let's watch that one more time. I want to be I want to be that guitar player that only has to play four notes on a lot of distortion with a lot of sustain like the entire night. Like every song it's like wow 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 that's like all that's his whole job. <laughs> Okay, and back into the next verse. So he's kind of like making this like kind of almost like an energy change throughout the song. And that's exactly what you have to do as a singer. He's starting off the verses kind of like light and breathy building up. Then he has like a little pre-chorus where the energy is getting a little bit higher. And then he goes super, super high energy in the chorus. And by the way, I'm not talking about like how loud or how soft he is. You can sing kind of quietly, but still have a strong or intense energy here. It just happens to be the case that he's getting loud louder as the energy in the song builds. So let's see what else he does in this next verse. Oh, that was a really nice quando. And notice that he's got his compression perfectly. He's not quando. He's not like uh, and spreading his his mouth super wide. He's quando. He's not actually opening things up too far uh, because he's still yeah. He's just on an F sharp here in his first bridge, which means that he's not going to have to actually open up that vowel too far just yet. Actually, in this particular case, uh, let's just say that the the sound or the language is. Quan da. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's correct or not. But in this case, he's actually kind of going to like a quan da, like a quan da, quan da, and it sounds better that way.
Okay, I'm so sorry to stop there, but again, I just have to point out, like, this guy has his vowels perfect, and he should. He worked with Seth Riggs, the founder of Speech Level Singing, and uh, kind of like the uh, progenitor of the technique that I teach, and it's super, super um, obvious in the way that he sings. An E vowel sung on a B4 is not an easy note to hit at all, but he makes it sound so easy because he knows exactly how to modify those vowels in order to uh, kind of give him the most resonance. The Shonani! My tongue is forward, but my jaw is open, and I'm still, everyone's still hearing E. bit of an auto tune was kind of obvious there. You can kind of hear like a little bit of a uh, trademark kind of wobble in the back there, and it's not a natural vibrato. Right there. that runs so smooth that's beautiful and just to go back to the auto-tune comment for a second i'm not saying that he has to use auto-tune because he can't sing he obviously can sing super super well it's just in this particular case like they've decided that it's really important that there's just like no errors whatsoever <laughs> and that doesn't mean that using auto-tune eliminates your errors completely you still have to be a very very good singer in order to use auto-tune correctly uh, because the note has to be close in the first place if the note is totally off and people are auto-tuning the, the crap out of it, um, then it's just gonna sound wrong. And that was the only specific place that I could hear that there was just a little bit of auto-tune in it. Key change into the, uh, and that was a purposeful flip. If he wanted to, he could, uh, and kind of like uh, mixed into that, but instead he just flipped it and he did that totally on purpose to give that uh, and he knows that he's got enough breath support to make it through the end of that phrase. In other words, the falsetto um, being kind of like a breathier sound isn't going to ruin him. Let's back up for a second, listen to that once again, see what he does. Just one more prediction. <laughs> I'm sure that this is just to kind of like reiterate what I was talking about earlier in terms of like the energy levels. This energy level was the lowest. With just that little bit of light piano in, in the background. And that again is just setting us up for the tremendous kind of like upward um, uh, arc that he's going to take us on next. I'm going to back up so no one misses anything. Oh, that's interesting right there. So he actually, he pulled his tongue back, which helped him engage his false vocal folds a little bit more. But as he actually leans into that, he scoots his tongue forward. Watch it one more time. He's like totally flipping into that falsetto as an effect there. That's is awesome. Oh, and I love this bit of business. He's like begging for you. He's importuning upon you to like change this, change this thing that I'm talking about. Now, I'm, I'm just going to make an assumption that he's talking about how did you lose the world? I'm guessing that maybe this is about, you know, um, like a person's vision and like what they're going to do in this world and what they're going to do with this life. Um, and I think that he's acting that out very well, even though he's a pop singer rather than a musical theater singer.
beautiful ending too. I love those tiny little. It's like very 90s R&B soul pop music, uh, like Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston. You could see them doing that so easily. This is a phenomenal performance, guys. I think that there's a lot to learn out of it. So I absolutely have to give this a five out of five stars. This is a performer that has been working with his voice for a very, very long time. Yeah, sure, there's a little bit of auto-tune on the track, but hey, this is uh, not Hollywood. This is Chinese Hollywood, <laughs> and therefore the Hollywood of the rest of the world too. And so I totally understand when they're using auto-tune as like a little bit of a technique uh, in order to make all those notes sound absolutely perfect because this is a very, very talented and phenomenal singer. So it, again, it's not like he can't sing. That's why they have to auto-tune it. There's just a little bit of like auto-tuning in there just to make all of his notes totally on pitch. It may, it may not have been live either. Uh, it may have been added in post-production as well um, because obviously this is a very well-produced video. But there's so, so much good stuff to learn about this. Specifically, you don't see a whole lot of songs um, in Western pop music that use an E as a high note. Um, so, and in this, and that's because it's so easy to just to flip into it or just or squeeze into it. In this particular case, he's handling that vowel very, very well. I'm going to guess that this is actually kind of like a more of a traditional uh, Chinese pop song, and that's why he's doing this uh, rather than one that he wrote, uh, which would explain why he can't change any of the lyrics to suit his needs. But what can he change? He can actually change the vowels slightly, and he's doing a fantastic job at that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to click like, comment with the next song that you want to see me react to, and subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel. And I can't wait to see you next time.